So, lost a lot of weight, bumping into lots of people that I've not, not seen for quite a while. Probably since I began. Uh, and I get asked questions all the time. How did I do it? What's your advice? Can you help me? What do you suggest I eat? What do you suggest I do exercise-wise? So, I'm always getting asked these questions, right? So, I thought I'd make this video giving you my five top tips uh, on how to lose weight and I've got them written down. So, I'm going to work through them, okay? I need to get used to looking at this instead of this. I'll look at the focus. It's pretty good. Right, so, five top tips on how to lose weight and keep it off. Number one is do exercise that you enjoy. So, what I mean by that is if you are getting up in the morning to go a run, but you can't be bothered, you really hate it, you're not enjoying it, and you keep skipping your runs, stop running. What's the point? If you don't enjoy it, it's not sustainable. You're not going to keep doing it. So, for me personally, what switched my mind, uh, for years I've been trying to do what everybody else was doing. So, I was on YouTube checking out workout videos and what this guy's doing, what this guy's doing, or what this girl's doing, and what's working for them. So that was the mistake right there. It was working for them. Personally, you have to try different things. So, like I said, if you don't like to run, don't run. If you don't like football, don't play football. If you don't like to lift weights, don't lift weights. For me, uh, I like lifting weights. So I started lifting weights. Um, but, I mean, I was getting stronger, but the weight wasn't really falling off. And then I found Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Uh, for me, it's my new passion. It's what I love to do. Um, as soon as I started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, work, working out became fun. Uh, and when working out becomes fun, it's not a hassle. I actually enjoy working out. So you're losing weight, you're getting fitter, you're getting stronger. And you're improving your overall quality of life. And you don't, you don't even realise it. So my number one tip is find the exercise that you enjoy. Number two Forget these diets, these um, fast fix diets. The reason why you're overweight is because you've created these bad habits throughout your life or even if it's only taken a year for you to increase, increase your weight, increase your fat, fat mass, it's down to bad habits and, bad and poor choices. So I'm not going to name names but you get these shakes, you get these fad diets that promise fast fixes. So just say you're on an eight-week course, eight-week course of this shake. All you're doing for eight weeks is drinking and eating these shakes. So you're going to lose weight. It's going to happen because because you're you're in a massive calorie deficit. So for these eight weeks, all you're doing is eating shakes. Don't exercise. Your your mind's not in in it for the for the long term. It's only in it for the short term. So you've lost. See, you've lost. I don't know, three stone in eight weeks. Wow, it's fast, super fast. But your habits are still the same. Once you finish these shakes, you're going to go back to doing the same thing you were eight weeks ago. You're going to just put the weight on again and it's going to be rinse and repeat. You're going to go back on these shakes. You're going to lose weight, back to normal, and put weight on. So these short-term diets, they really don't work. What you need to focus on is, is reversing these bad habits and creating new healthy habits so what I mean by that is think of the long game concentrate on changing little things in life so instead of focusing on these short term diets just cut down on eating junk food cut down on fizzy juice maybe go a walk instead of going in a car like if you're going to go to the shops just, just walk to the shops don't drive just change little things about your life just, just create these new healthy habits uh, and that's what's going to make this long term. That's what's going to make this sustainable. That's going to make the difference. So tip number two is create new healthy habits and reverse old bad habits. Tip number three, mindset. So mindset for me is massive. You have to be mentally prepared for the struggles that are ahead. You need to know that this is going to be hard. This isn't easy. Nothing about this is going to be easy. You're basically... When I say about habits and reversing habits, that is a very hard thing. If you, I don't know if you've ever tried to break a, some, some sort of habit, but it's called a habit for a reason. So you have to be mentally prepared 
to go to war with yourself. You have to realise that what you're doing is wrong. It's not healthy. It's it's in some cases it's killing you. So you have to be prepared to basically stand up to yourself, um, which isn't easy, uh, and it takes a while. Um, and another thing, you have to adopt the mindset where instead instead of just say your 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 diet's going well, your nutrition's on point, your exercise regime's religious, everything's going well. Just say you you're in the house, you're cooking food or whatever, just whatever the situation. Um, and you have a can of juice and a packet of crisps. Instead of putting this little tiny mistake on a pedestal, oh. <laughs> my dog makes that noise. Anybody? Go on, anybody? Instead of putting this tiny little mistake, because at the end of the day, in the grand scheme of things, that is just a minute setback. Instead of putting this on a, a pedestal, and getting all upset and down and and then adopting the mindset of oh I've, I've, I've cheated now I'll just I'll just I'll just take to the end of the day and I'll start again tomorrow get rid of that get that away that's not going to do you any any justice any good you've had a packet of crisps or whatever you've done it it's done forget it don't stew on it for, just forget it instead of letting it ruin your day just own it own up to it realise that it's wrong and just Keep going. Don't wait until tomorrow. Just keep going. Just deal with it. Just stay on track. Stay on plan. So your your mind mindset is a massive thing. Your mindset has to change. It has to be in it. Also, the term cheat meal and cheat day is 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 what people do. It's what people say. But personally, um, I don't like it. Uh, I really don't like the word cheat um, because you work hard every day, every week. You work hard, so we don't cheat. You don't cheat. I, I adopt the term treat. So you treat yourself. So if you have a, a nice meal, it's a treat. It's a treat meal. It's not a cheat. We don't cheat. You work hard. So with that, my philosophy is get rid of all, everything negative. There's nothing. There's cheat is a very negative word. So why not adopt a positive word like treat? It's about surrounding yourself with positivity. That's the main thing. Be positive in everything that you do. That will make a difference. Tip number four. So with your diet, um, I made the mistake in the beginning of cutting out everything. So what I done was your typical chicken, rice, and broccoli, four, three, four times a day, whatever it was to meet my my daily intake. Um, and doing this. This creates overwhelming cravings, cravings that you would not believe. And once you get cravings, you start to defer for the for the game plan. It's very hard to fight these. So another another thing is, if you give in to these cravings, you then back then I then develop the mindset. Ah, I've already done it. I've just I'll just I'll just keep eating rubbish until the end of the day. So what I've learned, and what I tell everybody is don't cut anything out. Why? Why cut everything out? Just have a healthy, balanced diet. So instead of having that whole bar of chocolate, just have one bit. You don't have to cut everything out. Just cut down, moderation. The key, the key, the key to this working and this being sustainable is, again, going back to mindset, going back to habits. If you have a bit of chocolate, you don't have to finish it all. Just have one piece. Just treat yourself. Everything in moderation, that is a massive, massive thing. It's very hard to, to adapt and, and learn and take in and use, but once you get used to it, that is definitely the key. Tip number five is don't give up. Don't give up, just keep going. If you have bad days, just keep going. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. It's not going to happen overnight. It definitely won't happen overnight. So don't jump on the scale. If you weigh yourself once a week or whenever, don't jump on the scale and if you've only lost a half a pound, don't then get all upset and maybe go and eat or whatever or don't exercise or let it ruin your day or your week. You've lost half a pound. You're you're better off than you were the day before. If as long as you're improving at least one percent each day, mentally, physically, as long as you're trying, 
As long as you're doing something, that's better than nothing. Many small changes are better than zero changes. So stick with it. Keep going, keep grinding. And it will happen. Just be patient. And I promise you it will happen. Right. Thanks, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, like, subscribe. Uh, keep a lookout on this page because I'm going to be posting hopefully videos weekly. Um, but loads of loads of informative content. Cheers, guys.